Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah and welcome back to another Reddit Am I the A-hole crochet slash knit edition. As always, I will get on my tablet and look up Reddit Am I the A-hole crochet or knit and hopefully find something that's been within the last seven days so that we have something new and uh, find a couple of stories depending on how long they are, maybe three. So far we've only been doing two, but that's okay. And then of course we will end it with something cute. And I think last week we did cute crochet. So I think today we will do something knit that is cute, but I will definitely try to find a story in each crochet or knit. Anyways, as I said, we are going to go into this blind. I'm gonna get on my tablet and start finding us a story. So let's get to looking for that story. I don't know what my, my brain, I'm tired. Time for the story. As always, please don't troll the pages if you find them to be the a-hole. It's just not cool. But I hope you grabbed a drink or a snack and settled in because we're getting to story number one. So this is crochet. I was having a lot of trouble finding anything that was knit related. I don't know what it is, but maybe they just aren't posting. So this was posted a day ago, so yesterday, and it says, am I the a-hole for refusing to remake a plushie because my friend didn't like the color? Now, just off the bat, I'd be like, no. Uh, but as we can see, Reddit has dubbed the also not the a-hole. But let's get into the story. I, 23 female, crochet plushies as a hobby. I do it for relaxation, but also I make my friends and family little plushies as gifts. My friend, 20 female, asked me to make her a cat and told me she didn't care what color it was. I made it in a light blue originally and sent her a picture. It is it's important to note my friend is also my partner's sister. Okay. My partner came home from work saying his sister called him to tell him he needs to buy me more yarn colors because she hated the color I made the plushie and that it looked stupid and she wanted him to tell me to remake it white. I told her the next day that she could take it as is, as is or leave it because I was not making her another one because she told me she didn't care what color I made it and and to just the yarn and it was just the yarn I had. Sorry, it's written a little weird. Anyways, I don't have much yarn at the moment to choose from because I just had a baby last month and money is tight. Okay. She got offended and called me an a-hole and said that I was creating drama for nothing and that it's not even that hard to crochet plushies. I told her to F off and left at that. But now I'm starting to wonder if I made, if, if maybe I was the a-hole. My partner is mostly staying out of it but asked if it was really that big a deal. Well, yeah, they don't realize how long it does take to create these plushies and sweaters and anything. It takes time. It's, it's your time that you're putting into this gift. So am I the a-hole for not just remaking the plushie in a different color? Update. My partner has since apologized for implying it wasn't a big deal. His sis is still saying she did nothing wrong, but we're more occupied with our newborn to push for an apo any apologies. However, she is now on my no crochet list. I'm going to give the blue cat to my little brother because he asked so very nicely for it. Thank you for all the support. I'm a huge people pleaser, so it's hard for me to tell people I love no without feeling like a butthole. Oh, man. That's even worse, being a people pleaser. But as far as, I agree with Reddit. 
you're not the a-hole. For someone to say it doesn't matter what color it is and then complain about it, then they should have spe specified what color they wanted instead of just saying, oh, whatever color, just make me a cat, whatever color, and then get mad is wrong. So I say not the a-hole, and Reddit says not the a-hole, but let's see what some of the comments were. And the first one says, not the a-hole, she is getting a free pro free plushie. <laughs> she said she didn't care about the color, so you used what colors you had. If she wanted a specific color, she should have provided the yarn before you started working. That could, you know, true. That could be a thing. Uh, now you have labor into the project, which has value. Very true. What she said to you was also very rude. I would not make anything for her again, personally. The only thing I will say is that she probably expected it to be in a natural color since she asked for a cat, but she really wasn't entitled to request any colors since it was a gift. No, she still could have said something though, right? She still could have been like, oh, will you make me a cat in orange? like an orange tabby cat, or will you make me a cat in brown because I like the color brown or black or white. She, after the blue cat came out, she chose white. But so yeah, no, she totally could have specified a color or given, you know, will you crochet me a cat in natural cat colors? Plushies don't have to be natural. I mean, they're a toy essentially and so they don't have to be in a natural color so but still anyways uh not the not the a-hole this should be a uh, top comment or have the partner do it do is since it isn't a big deal oh. <laughs> this person's saying have the partner create the plushie since it's not a big deal but he apologized he she said he apologized so there's that uh, not the a-hole. She said any color. She didn't say any color but blue. It's simply as it's as simple as that. If she didn't want a blue plushie, well, all she had to do was say, very true, if she wants another one, she can pay you labor costs or provide the yarn up front or actually both. She could totally pay you for the plushie, including the yarn because I mean, you're, you need to be compensated for your time, not just the yarn. Because depending on what kind of yarn, it can be fairly inexpensive. So you can get really good deals, especially if you buy in bulk or if you hit a sale or whatever, and the yarn is not that expensive. But still, it's your time. It's your time. And what do people expect to get paid for their labor when they go to a nine to five job, they get, they expect to get paid X amount of dollars, whether it be 725 or 15 or 30, whatever it may be, they're expecting that rate because that's their time. That's their value. And so you also need to be compensated. This was a gift that you gave to this, to your sister or sister, your partner's sister, your possibly future sister-in-law or whatever, and she didn't appreciate it. So no, you are definitely not the a-hole. Let's see if we can find another story. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, only because they're being really hard to find, the am I the a-hole? I love doing the am I the a-holes because they are funny and some of them are really interesting and some have gotten downright twisted and scary and not even crochet or knit related except for the mention of yarn or a hook <laughs> so but anyways let's see if I can find another story all right so this next one says it was from seven hours ago but I think it's just a screenshot because as I move it down it um, says three months ago so anyways it just literally says am I the a-hole that's all it gives but I did kind of look now my Come on, there we go. I did kind of look at the title of this and it does have to do with
crochet, I believe. So it says, am I the a-hole for making a blanket that says brat on it for my newborn niece? I, 28 male, have an older sister, 34 female, who just had a baby of around the same time uh, Charlie XCX's critically acclaimed album Brat was released. I don't know if I pronounced the artist's name correctly, but that's okay. Naturally, as a gunkle, I crocheted the album cover and didn't tell my sister beforehand to surprise her. It was about $20 of yarn and 40 hours of work. Wow. I sent the blanket in the mail to my sister and she said, why would you waste your time on this? The green color is ugly and why would you call my daughter a brat? She's an angel. I told her funny, she would say that, I told her funny, she would say that because Charlie stands called angels, are called angels. Okay. Charlie's stands are called angels. So her fans, super fans, is that what Stan st stands for? I don't know. Anyways, uh, to make matters worse, she said Charlie XCX and then Ig Iggy Azalea's assistant in the Clueless music video. Oh, question mark. I'm just really frustrated because I worked really hard on it and no one cares and she'll probably never even use it. Sh see blanket below. Okay, so Iggy Azalea's assistant in the Clueless music video. Is that, I don't, I'm not familiar with this artist, so please forgive me. <laughs> but anyways, they, she, there's a picture of the blanket. Oh, it looks like it was knitted maybe. Ooh, well, so maybe we did get a knit story. I mean, it's just really simple. It's, it's, it says brat, as you can see here. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go back. So, so, um, I mean, is, I don't know. Obviously, the sister is upset, and you didn't take into consideration that that would be taken in probably the wrong manner. So, are you the a-hole? I mean, unless the sister is that is that artist's fan, I don't know. I, I wouldn't have done it. So, I would... I'm leaning towards yes, but let's see what Reddit has to say. <laughs> Uh, the first comment says, this is so cute. Love the black around the edges. And they rep replicated the font really well. Can see why a non-fan would be confused. Though. See? Exactly. Uh, someone else underneath that said, totally not good as a baby blanket, though. I knit and crochet, so I know how much of an effort this was. But even I would be like, dude, what the F? Uh, let's see. Someone else said, um, my best friend would love that if I got it for her kid, but keep clutching your pearls. <laughs> I mean, okay. So, I mean, it just depends on the person that's receiving it. If they like the artist and understand them, maybe, yeah, they would like it. But if they don't, like I didn't know the artist, then I can understand the confusion. Uh, Let's see, let's see. Well, oh my goodness, okay. Someone said I want this for my adopted babies if I ever have them. Uh, <laughs> someone asked, why is no one asking the baby's zero female opinion on this? What if she was born to stand a different artist? <laughs> As if she would have an opinion at the age of zero. <laughs> it sounds like, goodness, they start so young nowadays. The baby is giving Swifty. Holy cow. <laughs> People are saying that they want it. 
so someone just said I snorted at work and now I have to get off my phone because people are looking at me. <laughs> This is the mild version of that Swifty nurse who made a Taylor Swift themed photo shoot on premature babies. There's a Swifty nurse. Oh my goodness. It sounds like the what now? <laughs> oh my goodness. Someone put, imagine being born in parentheses already horrible, being premature, having enough health problems to be in the NICU and not being able to be held very often by your parents and then some annoying nurse dresses you up in a Taylor Swift outfit just to add insult to injury. Oh my goodness. I almost want to look up this Taylor Swift nurse, but okay, I can imagine that. Yeah, that's that's pretty no. Oh, some, <laughs> someone said I bet the sister is a Swifty. <laughs> And someone underneath that said, if, if someone gave the baby a Swifty friendship blanket, the mom would be so grateful and would make the baby wear it, even though it is a choking hazard. Um, oh, bracelet, bracelet, bracelet. Oh, my good. Oh, my goodness. Okay, someone said, Gunkle is not the a-hole. If the baby's an angel, then OFC, she'll, um, OFC? She'll love the brat blanket duh it's literally the name for charlie's stands um what does ofc stand for what does ofc stand let me know in the comments <laughs> uh, i know some but i don't know all oh my goodness <laughs> some of these comments oh my if the baby said she didn't want it can Grun gunkle send it to me someone did put could it be because the gift was more for your own personal preference than a girl suitable for a newborn baby. Yeah, not suitable gift for most normal human beings. I mean, you have to be a fan of the artist. <laughs> and I get it why the mom would be upset. If she's not a fan of the artist, then she's not going to like a blanket that says brat about her child. But you, anyways... If the mom was a fan of the artist and she was okay with it, then no, you would not be the a-hole. But obviously, she was not happy with it. So, I would say, unfortunately, yes, you are the a-hole in this case. All right, let's find something cute. All right, here we go. Are you ready for the something cute? I found these knit Christmas stockings, and they are absolutely adore Halloween Christmas stockings. I, I'm assuming you could wear these. They're absolutely adorable, but you, you could also hang them up as Christmas stockings. But I absolutely love them. I love the little ghosties and the bats and the kitties and the skulls and spiders and pumpkins and oh my and candy corns. They're so adorable. What do you think? Are they absolutely adore? I would totally wear these. I would totally wear these. Just make me a matching set. Actually, they don't even have to be a matching set. <laughs> They're just adorable. I would love to learn how to do this. Oh, and it's okay. In that one picture, it's showing you the size. So they are definitely really big. So they are definitely Christmas stockings. Because if you see where that spoon was. <laughs> they're really big, <laughs> but they're adorable. I love them. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. We did get some silly comments on the second story, but I, yeah, I, I am really struggling with that. Maybe I should do the Am I the A-Hole like once a month and just find some fun stories the other three weeks and maybe I don't know we'll try it so starting in November I'll start the first week with am I the hole and then the next three weeks will be some kind of story that's fiber art related on reddit so that's what we'll do and then hopefully we'll be able to um get some more am I the a-hole stories 
because they're really hard to come by. I've pretty much gone through them all or I found similar ones that I don't think I need to really do because it would be like repeating the same story. So anyways, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did, I would love it if you would hit the like button. And if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, please consider clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the notification bell. My brain, it's late. I'm tired. <laughs> and with that, gravity works, guys.